Welcome to WebStyle Press. Following best practices when writing JavaScript code can help create more efficient, scalable, maintainable, and secure applications. In this video, we will look into that. But before that, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I am bringing similar content on this topic. Okay. Variables best practices. Avoid global variables or minimize the use of global variables. Use local variables instead or use closures. Global variables can lead to naming collisions and make it difficult to track the flow of data in the code. Variable used in the function should be declared as local variables. Local variables must be declared with the var, the let or the const keyword. Otherwise, they will become global variables. This prevents unintended variable hoisting and helps to avoid naming collisions. Use const for constants. Use the const keyword for variables that will not be reassigned. This ensures that the value of the variables does not change accidentally. Use meaningful variables and function names. Use descriptive names for variables and functions to make the code more readable and maintainable. Use strict mode because it will not allow undeclared variables. It also helps to avoid common mistakes and enforce better coding practices. Declare variables at the beginning. Initialize variables when you declare them. You can put all variable declarations at the top of each script or function. It has several benefits, like code will be clean, you will have a single place to look for local variables, you will avoid unwanted global variables, unwanted redeclarations will be reduced, code will be more maintainable and understandable. It helps in cleaner code, providing a single place to initialize variables and avoiding undefined values. Declare objects and arrays with const. This will prevent accidental change of type for arrays and objects. This is why we declare arrays and objects using const. And this is a good interview question for JavaScript developers. Interviewer can ask, why do we declare arrays and objects with const? So keep this in mind. Because this will change object to string because let allows it but const won't allow it and will throw error same for arrays so declare objects and arrays with const do not use new object use double quotes or single quotes instead of new string use zero instead of new number use false instead of new boolean use curly brackets instead of new objects use brackets instead of new arrays use this instead of new regex expression use function instead of new function use strict equality operator instead of equality operator equality comparison operator always converts to matching types before comparison Strict equality operator forces comparison of values and type. For example, all of these are false, but output is true. This is number and this is string. So these are false. These cannot be equal. But here we see this true. Using strict equality operator will output correct result. Use parameter defaults. If a function is called with a missing argument, the value of missing argument is set to undefined or not a number. Undefined values can break the code. It is good practice to assign default values to arguments. This is switch statement. End switch statements with defaults. Always end switch statements with a default value, even if you think there is no need for it. Avoid number, string, and boolean as objects. Otherwise, you will have undesired output. 
always treat numbers, strings, or booleans as primitive values, not as objects. Declaring these types as objects slows down code execution and produces unwanted side effects. This is false because x is string and y is object. And this is false because you cannot compare objects. Do not use eval function. The eval function is used to run text or string as code. It should not be used. It allows arbitrary code to run. So it can be a security risk to use eval function. Furthermore, avoid nested callbacks as it can make your code difficult to read and maintain. Use promises or async await to handle asynchronous operations. Async await is better. I have tutorials about callbacks, callback hell, refactoring callback hell, promises and async await. Make sure you check those out as well. This is a regular function. And this is an arrow function. JavaScript arrow functions are a concise way to write functions in JavaScript. Use arrow functions to write concise and readable code. They also help to avoid problems with this binding. So arrow function is more concise and has a simpler syntax. Use arrow functions. Use a linter to ensure that the code follows consistent style and best practices. Use ESLint extension for Visual Studio Code. Always test your code thoroughly to ensure that it works as expected and catches any errors or bugs. Use tools like GIST or Mocha for testing. After you are done writing a component or when you are done implementing a logic, refactor code at least once to ensure it's following best coding practices. Make sure code is formatted properly. Prettier is VS Code extension that allows you to format code easily and add comments in code where necessary. So use linter, use Prettier extension, test your code, refactor your code often or at least when you're done with some part of your code and at the end I have got a recommendation. I would recommend you to have a look at Airbnb JavaScript style guide. It has brilliant recommendations to write better code as a JavaScript developer. These are few recommendations that I can think of right now that can help you write better code and become a better JavaScript developer overall. Did I miss anything? Let me know in comments. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.